All right, folks, I think uh, last we left off, we were getting ready to put uh, bearings into our connecting rods. So again, um, going with Colvin Schmidt. And let me show you what I'm doing. Taking the bearing and I'm making sure that the rod is clean and popping it in. Uh, pop that in. And of course, we're going to give it a healthy, healthy dose of assembly um, uh, assembly lube before uh, before it goes in any, anywhere. So don't worry about that. All right, so <clears throat> I'm not going to belabor the point. Basically, uh, use your just fingers to slide the bearing in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the remainder of these things, get them uh, um, uh, prepped, and then I'll bring you back when I'm ready to put them in the block, okay? All right, all right. So uh, we are going to start putting some pistons into this block and uh, just a little um, little update on what I did is uh, got all the uh, caps, rod caps, and the rod, rods, rod bearings in there. Um, I bathed everything in uh, assembly lube and marble mystery oil. And then coming over to the uh, block here, what I've done is uh, I hand lined the uh, cylinders with uh, marble mystery oil. Uh, that just is going to help the uh, ring seat. And then right over here, I got this uh, kind of this little thing that I made up for uh, uh, putting the ring compressor on. The way that we're going to do this is uh, uh, put the ring compressor over the piston and then uh, tighten it down. And then uh, that'll kind of ensure the... Um, rings are compressed and then I'm going to leave a little bit of the skirt showing so I can come over here and uh, line it up as you can see ooh, the crank is looped up and uh, ready to go all right so <clears throat> we're going to double check to make sure our rings are uh, clocked appropriately and they are 120 degree offsets. I'm gonna come over here, find my little tool for the piston ring compressor, okay? And then just come over here and line this up like that and tighten. All right, so I believe 
this would be good now. See how the uh, pistons like kind of squeezed in there. The rings are kind of squeezed in there. I don't think we can get it any tighter. Yep, it's as far as I can go. Now, I'm going to see how the, the skirt is showing. Make sure my bearing's looking good. I'm gonna bring it over here to the block. And then I'm going to line up the piston skirt on the cylinder. And that should uh, allow me to tap it in with a uh, with a rubber mallet. Let me bring you over here so you can get a uh, nice look, hopefully. So that's how it looks. It's all lined up and uh, should be able to just kind of tap it in. There it is. And with any luck, that will have seated on our uh, crank. And so because the rings are compressed against the uh, the cylinder, I can go ahead and rotate this without it worrying about it falling falling out. And that's what I'll do. It'll allow me to put my uh, rod cap in. And it'll also allow me to make sure my bearing is seated uh, appropriately. Okay, good. So that looks okay. and uh, does what it needs to do. Okay, we'll torque it down afterwards, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring you back when I'm ready to torque. All right, so bringing you back here again, um, all the rods, uh, all the pistons in, all the rod caps on. Uh, you see one and four kind of up, uh, facing up. So I got those torqued and uh, uh, final torque on them. The spec is 30 Newton meters plus a 90 degree rotation. You see how the white paint line is facing this way. Uh, on these two that are uh, cylinder two and uh, three, um, I have the paint mark going this way. So when I rotate it 90 degrees, the paint mark will be um, facing left to right. And I'm gonna show you how that's gonna look. For example, uh, you see uh, you see this uh, cylinder here. Oh uh, gosh. This one right here, that's cylinder two. And uh, basically I'm just gonna get the ratchet on there. And so I'm gonna bring it 90 degrees and that should do it. Yep. And then similar to this one, bring it 90 degrees. All right, cool. And then see how my uh, lines on this guy are now left to right. Um, not sure if you saw that, but I'm gonna do the same thing here for cylinder three. I'm gonna put vertical lines north to south, and then after I rotate them, it'll be east to west. And so that gives me the quick uh, rundown of, uh, I know that I got my final torque on them. All right, let's get that guy in there. All right. Whew. Okay, so just to, to reiterate, 
on this engine, I mean, I'm sorry, on this cylinder, you see how the cap broad, the uh, cap bolts are north to south. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my final torque on them. Ninety degree rotation. One. Ninety degree rotation for the second one. And uh, okay. And so. Now they're east to west. So that's it. That bottom end is basically done. I'm gonna rotate the, uh, the engine one more time on the stand all the way over. And uh, what we're looking for is nice, smooth rotations with uh, a little bit of suction on the, on the cylinder. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And let me bring you in a little bit higher. Okay, so I got my wrench on the crank and I'm gonna spin, spin these cylinders. And I'm gonna put my hand on it. And let's take cylinder two, for example. As it goes down on the compression stroke, it Sucking the heck out of the glove. All right. So we got compression. I feel like it's the correct install. Things feel good. They're smooth. Um, and it does appear like we got good compression. So we'll cover her up. And then uh, next time we, uh, next time we resume, we'll be going over the uh, oil pump, installing the oil pump. And then the uh, oil pump is really like the uh, coup de gras of the bottom, bottom end. Coup de gras of the bottom end. All right, um, so, yeah, we'll take a break and uh, be back with uh, with the oil pump.